Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the lead code question add and search word data structure design. Okay, so we need to design a data structure which supports the following operations. We need to be able to add a word and we need to be able to search for a word and return a boolean value of whether the word exists or not. So search word can search a literal word or a regular expression. So let's say we have a dot, right? So what that means is that it can represent any letter. So if you have a, a dot, we first need to have A and then any other letter. So let's look at this example real quick. So we added the word bad, then we added dad, and then we have mad. Whatever data structure we have contains these three words. And now we're gonna search whether these words exist or not. So pad does not exist bad does exist and dot ad also exists and what that means is some letter followed by ad in this case we have dad we have bad and mad they all follow that and same for b dot dot we have b and then two other letters we don't care what those other letters are okay and you may assume that all words are consists of lowercase letters a through c Okay, so in order to solve this question, we're going to be using a data structure called a try. So before we go ahead, uh, let's try to explain what a try is and how we can use this in this situation. All right, so we have a try, which is T-R-I-E, not T-R-Y. So it's a tree-based data structure, which is the most efficient way in order to store strings. And it has a lookup time, so if you want to look for a word, it's going to be big O of L, where L stands for the maximum length of the string, right? So it's the most efficient structure we can use to solve this question. So in order to understand how this works, let's look at a quick example by adding a few words. So I'm just going to write a few words and we're going to add that to our try. Okay, so over here I have five words, one, two, three, four, yeah, so I have them, the, boy, back, and stop. Okay, so let's see how we can add this in a data structure. So for every try, we're going to have something which kind of represents a master root. So this root is not going to hold any value, but it's just kind of there as a place. We're going to think of it as a master root which holds everything. So now what we're going to do is, let's say we want to add the first word, which is them. We're going to break it up into its letters. So first we're going to add T, then we're going to add H, then we're going to add E, then we're going to add M. And each node in a try is going to have a Boolean value attached to it. And this Boolean value is going to say whether it's an end of the word or not. So what I mean by that is, so we have T over here. It's going to have a Boolean value of false because it's not the end of the word yet. H is going to be false. E is going to be false. But once we reach to M, we're going to have a value of true. What that means is the word is just, what that signifies is that the word ends at the letter M. So now we have the letter, so we have the word them in our try. So now let's try to add the word the. So in order to do that, the first step is we're going to go to our master root and see if any of its children have T and T already exists. Then we want to see if it has a H. H also exists and it also has E. So we already have the over here. So in order to so we could do one of two things. We could make another tree altogether, but that's just going to take up extra unnecessary space. So all we're going to do is, this over here has a Boolean value of false. Instead, now we're going to change that to true. And what that means is we have a word which is T-H-E, the, and we also have a word T-H-E-M, them. So we considered both the words in this case. So now let's do the word boy. So we're going to make a new uh, branch. So it's going to have the child B. Then we're going to have O. And then we're going to have Y. So we have boy. And now we want to add the word back. So we're going to go to a master root. We already have B. But B does not have a child node of A. So 
So we're going to add that node. So we're going to add A over here. Then we're going to add a C. Then we're going to add a K. And again, I forgot to write it, but at the ending, so these two are going to have the Boolean value of true to signify that that's the end of the word. And finally, we want to add the word stop. So we're going to add a child node over here. And then you get the point, S-T-O-N-P. So pretty simple. And this is going to be the data structure that we want to implement. And we're going to do so uh, by using the Python dictionary. And now we'll just quickly go over how will we search for an element. And it's pretty simple. Let's say we want to look for the element stop. We're going to go to a master root. We're going to check if any of his children have the first letter of the word. So if there's an S, we're going to go. So then we're going to change our root node to S. So now our root node is S. Now we're going to look for the next letter. We're going to look for T. And then we're going to go to T. But so now let's just take an example. Let's say we're looking for the word back, right? We already have it. So we're going to go to the B. B becomes our root node. But like we saw in our example, there can be regular expressions used. So let's say we have B dot C K. So that means we can have B anything and then C K. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to B. And since there's a dot, it can represent any letter. So we're going to add A and O as our parent nodes. So first, let's say we go to O, then we're, then we're going to check for a C, which does not exist. So we're going to cross this out, and then we're going to go back to our A, and a C exists, and so does a K. So when we have a dot, we're going to include all of its children nodes, and we're going to use a stack in order to do that. All right, so let's take a look at the code and see how that looks like. So I'm just going to go over and uh, explain the code instead of writing it line by line since it's a little long. Okay, so first what I did is I created a class called the try node, and this is going to be used to represent our try node. And we're going to initialize it with self.children, and this is going to be an empty dictionary which is going to hold its children nodes. Then we're going to have a boolean value for is end, and it's going to be set to false. But if the, it is the ending of a word, we're going to change this value to true. So now let's go into our word dictionary class. And we're going to initialize it by calling our root, so self.root. And it's going to be a try node object. Okay, and now let's go to our add root method. So over here, we're going to have a node. And think of this as our current node. So we're going to start off at the root, at our master root. That's going to be our current starting point. So that's going to be the node. And now we're going to iterate through each of the letters or characters inside of our word. So we're going to do that with the for loop. And now we're going to check if that character already exists as a children node, as a child node, inside of whatever our root node is. So if it does exist, so in this case it does exist, we're going to make that node as our current node. But if it does not exist, what we're going to do is we're first going to add that character as one of the children, and then we're going to make it our current node. Okay, and then this is going to keep going into our for loop. And once we reach the last character and we're done with our for loop, we're going to make whatever that last node is, we're going to make its is end value to be true because that the last letter is the ending of the word. Okay. So now let's go into our search method. So over here, we need to remember that return if the word is in a data structure, a word could, so we could have a dot character which represents any letter. So in order to do this, we're going to have a stack. And in our stack, we're going to initialize it with a tuple value, and which is going to first hold the node. So in this case, we're going to start off with our root node. As usual, we're starting off with our root node, and then we're going to give it the word, and we get the word from the function over here. Okay, and now we're going to go inside of a while loop, and we're going to stay inside of this while loop until our we have something in our stack, until our stack is not empty. And each time we iterate through this loop, we're going to pop out whatever we have inside there. So we're going to do stack.pop, and over here, we're going to get the node, so the first thing is the node over here, and then we're going to get the word that we're looking for. So uh, I'll just skip this part over here, and we'll come back to it. So now let's go to the statement here. 
Over here, we're looking at the first letter of our note, and we're checking if that exists in as one of our children notes. So if word at whatever is at the zeroth element, the first letter, is in node.children, then in that case, we're going to take a temporary variable and we're going to set it equal to that node, right? And we're going to then add that to our stack. So we're going to be adding a tuple value, we're going to be adding the temporary variable, and we're going to add the word. Now, we've already found the first letter, so we're going to add everything from the first index to the ending. So to be more clear, we found the zeroth index and now we're going to take everything from the first index and all the way to the ending. Okay, and now we have one more statement which checks if we have a dot. And in the case that we have a dot, we're going to add all of the children notes. And this is what the for loop does. It iterates through all of its children nodes and it keeps adding them to the stack. So we're going to add all of the children nodes to the stack and we're going to keep popping them out and keep checking for them. Now let's go back to this if statement that we had in the beginning. So over here we're checking if the word even exists. And the reason for that is each time we go into either of these loops, we're going to come to a point where we're going to have less and less letters and at a point we're gonna only return the last letter or we're gonna come to a point where we do not return anything because each time we're looking at the zeroth index and once we reach the ending we're not gonna return anything and in that case we're th that means that we've reached the ending of our word and that could and now we need to check if that is actually the ending of the word that we're looking for and the way we can check that is we can look for its is end boolean value. And if that value is true, we know that it's the ending of the word. So if node.isend, and in that case, we're going to return true. And if none of these cases, so if we do not end up going inside of this if statement, or even if we do and it is not node.isend, then in that case, that means that we did not find the word. And then we're going to return false outside of our while loop. So let's submit this real quick. And as you can see, our code did get accepted. And finally, do let me know if you have any questions or if you have any better solution to solve this. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. And do let me know what you thought about the video. Thank you.